be all right. Kind of y'all can see. Hey, y'all. Hello, when you jump on, let me know you're here. <laughs> I'm making chicken marsala this evening. Hi, everybody. Say hi when you jump on. My girls are being loud. Layla and Aaliyah. Hi. I don't see no one talking to me yet. I'm trying to get y'all so where y'all can see. Hi, Christina. How are you? Let me move you over. There we go. Hey, to Shaylee. Hey, Carla. Let me see. Let me. Y'all being too loud upstairs. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and get started because my um, chicken broth is boiling. So today I'm going to make a uh, chicken marsala for dinner. Oh, Christina, my weekend is going great. How is yours going? <laughs> All right, I'm making chicken marsala. So in this pot, I just have some chicken broth. Hi, Allie. And I'm going to go ahead and add in my spaghetti noodles. And you know, you can serve chicken marsala with whatever you like. Hi, Lisa. You can serve it with uh, mashed potatoes. Some people serve it with rice. I'm going to use um, spaghetti noodles for this particular one. And I'm going to kind of turn it down some. Where is my top? There it is. We're going to let that cook a little bit. I probably should add a little oil. Again, I'm just, this is chicken broth with my spaghetti noodles. It gives it that extra flavor and it's so good. So we're going to let that cook a little bit. Oh, Christina. <laughs> all right, you all. So for the chicken marsala, it's really simple, really easy. It only takes maybe about 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, Christina. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, Erica from Ohio. Thank you. Yeah, the girl, that sticky chicken is good, isn't it? Hi, Alicia from Virginia. Hi, Betty. So the chicken marsala, simple and easy. All you need is some chicken breast. I actually was fortunate enough to find mine already sliced really thin, and I'll show you all once I get ready to bread them. In this pot, I just have some spaghetti noodles that I'm boiling in uh, chicken broth. I got some fresh mushrooms. Of course, that's the other um, ingredient there in your marsala. And then you can use either chicken broth or marsala wine. This is the marsala cooking wine. I didn't get the actual real marsala wine. And then I have a little breadcrumb. I'm going to have to get some, um, some flour because I'm going to add flour for my breading. And then I got my chicken broth. I'm going to use a little bit more chicken broth in with my marsala wine. And I'm going to make mine a little creamy. So I'm going to use a little heavy cream in my uh, broth. So we're going to get started. I have to grab some flour. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't see any comments, so I'll be right back. Let me grab some flour. <laughs> totally forgot the flour. So, whoop, pop trying to boil over, y'all. We can turn that down just a little bit. I don't use a, usually boil with the top on, but it goes a little quicker when you add the top to it. And I usually use white lily flour, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to use. And this is just going to help to bread the chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some in my bowl here. You don't need that much, depending on how much breading you're trying to do. And I'm going to add a little bit of my of my panko breadcrumb. I don't think it matters if you use panko or the regular breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna add some of that and we'll probably need some more. And then I'm gonna add my seasonings to it. I'm just gonna use a little bit of my 
um, Greek All Purpose and my Himalayan Pink Salt. I think somebody was asking me on my cooking page, where do I buy these from? And I get these from Walmart. This one and um, these two. These are pretty good. Hi, Belinda. <laughs> you said finally you could say something. I get these two here, y'all. One is a garlic, onion, black pepper, and sea salt. And the other one is a pink Himalayan salt and the black pepper and garlic. All right, so I'm going to use the Himalayan pink salt. And just add that to my breading and a little bit of Greek all-purpose. And we're going to stir that up. We're definitely going to need some more breading than this. And all you have to do is brown your chicken breasts. Well, we're going to cook them, but since mine are so thin, it's not going to take long to do that. So let me go ahead and get my tong, my other tong. I'll just use these. And I bought these, you all. They were already this thin. Do you see how thin those are? So that keeps me from, the cooking time is cut all the way down because they're so thin. So I'm just going to put them here and bread those. I'm going to go ahead and turn my stove on. Now to cook your chicken breast, I'm going to turn it down to like a medium high. I'm going to cook mine in a little olive oil. Well, I'm going to use some of my vegetable oil and a little butter. You don't have to use the butter, but I use that sometimes as a little extra, extra flavor. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little butter in there with that. We're going to let that warm up. Okay, y'all can talk to me a little bit. <laughs> y'all so quiet. All right, so we're gonna let those spaghetti noodles, they'll be done by the time we're done cooking the chicken breast. So that's good to go. So we're gonna brown these. We'll cook those up. And it, like I said, it won't take but a few minutes to cook those chicken breasts. And I have a little plate here. Y'all can't see it, but it's sitting there so I can actually put the chicken breast on it while I'm waiting for that pot to get hot. So I'm just going to brown. I mean, I'm going to bread these and then we'll cook them. And it's so simple and easy, y'all. It's just tasty, simple and easy. And you can, um, sometimes I add eggs and that's what I was going to do. That's why those eggs are sitting there. But I just decided since my chicken breasts are still kind of moist, I didn't need the uh, egg. Hi, Jessica. Oh, Carla, your girl, the, uh, that Greek all purpose is really good. I do not recommend a lot of seasonings, y'all, unless it's good because that stuff costs money. I ain't going to tell y'all something good and then you go out and buy it and it's horrible. That Greek all-purpose, you can use that for a lot of different things. And when I started using it, I learned that a lot more people actually, there are a lot of people that actually already used it. They just weren't talking about it. So Greek all-purpose is, is the bomb.com. Trying to keep that water from boiling over. Let me turn it down a little bit more. I just like my spaghetti to get al dente. I don't like it to get all overcooked and mushy. I don't know, y'all. We may, yeah, we're going to need a little bit more flour. I'm only cooking for my two, well, I'm cooking for my three girls. I only have three of my my three of my girls uh, full time, and I have two other sons, and they stay with their dad. So I don't have to cook a whole lot when I cook because there's nobody to eat it. I don't really eat much at all. I probably won't even eat dinner. Hey, Tara, how are you? All right, I'm gonna add a little more flour. This pot is. Definitely ready to go. In this skillet, if you're just coming on, this is just some butter and vegetable oil. That's good. <laughs> hey, Takesha. So butter and um, vegetable oil. We're going to add these chicken breasts that I braided with just a little panko and flour. And the seasoning that I use is Greek all-purpose. And what else I use, y'all? It's a, um, a all-purpose. I'll show you all. I use the Greek all-purpose and... Hey, Nakiro. Greek all purpose in the Himalayan pink salt. So let's get more flour. 
And this pan is not up real high because I didn't want it to burn. Um, it's like on a medium high, so it's warm, but it's not, you know, sizzling. That was too much flour. But that's okay. We can work with it. So in my flour, again, I'm just adding a little Greek all-purpose because I did not season the chicken breast. I'm going to season the flour. Thank you to Shaylee. Hey, Christine. Hey, Glenda. Thank you, Mommy and Aiden. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add a little Greek all-purpose and a little bit of my Himalayan pink salt again to my flour. We got our chicken breast cooking here. Y'all can't see that, though. Can y'all see now? Let me see. I want to make it to where you can see. All right. So I'm here. I can still see y'all. Okay. So I'm just braiding the other couple of chicken breasts. The Greek all purpose. This is what it is. Can you see that? So it looks like this. You've probably seen it. It's by Cavenders in the store and probably just overlooked it. <laughs> So, all right, we're gonna let those cook a little bit. I'm gonna bread these. And like I said, y'all, this takes you maybe 15, 20 minutes. It's a quick, quick little deal. I didn't really add any breadcrumbs to this one, but that's okay. And you don't need the breadcrumbs. Yeah, absolutely. And I do get this, get the Cavenders, the uh, Greek All Purpose in Walmart. All right, let me get my other tongue because I do not want my chicken breast getting too. Okay, they're good to go. I just want to make sure they weren't getting too brown, y'all. Y'all see them? So they're doing good. Got to keep our eye on the chicken. <laughs> and this is our uh, spaghetti noodles. Again, I'm cooking those in chicken broth. You can use just water. Or you can add uh, chicken bouillon to your water. I found that cooking with the actual chicken broth, though, it gives it the more, more flavor than just either adding seasonings. For some reason, the noodles just really soak up the chicken broth. All right, let me get these breaded, and then we'll come over here and turn these over because I know they're about ready. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and turn. Yeah, those are good. Y'all see how good those look? That one could have browned a little more, but that's okay, because we can always flip it back over. But they smell good, and they're they're nice and brown. Put that there. I'm going to go ahead and braid the last chicken breast. And if you keep your breast thick, you know you can use thick chicken breast. I would just recommend once you actually brown it on each side, you can actually cover it too. It helps it to cook quicker. And then you can transfer it to the oven and let it finish cooking while you're doing your sauce. So that's always an option. I'm going to add a little more oil. And a little more butter. Don't be afraid to ever add a little more. You don't want your stuff to burn. All right, let me get this last one over here. So I got those last three breaded. That's gonna be too much food for us, y'all. Way too much food. So our chicken breast is cooking good. They're actually gonna be almost done in just a minute. And our spaghetti noodles are definitely looking good over here. They're almost al dente. They've been boiling about, well, we've been on here, what, about five? Well, we've been on here longer than I thought, but they've been boiling long enough, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them down on a lower heat. And I'm going to flip this one back over on this side, let it get more brown. Can you all see that? So you want them to get, let them, let them cook, but let them brown up, too. Turn that one over. Oh, this is going to be so good. And then I'm going to transfer them to a plate with a little foil to keep them hot. And 
and we'll set that there for now. We'll get a piece of foil. Because we still have to use this pan to cook our mushrooms and make our sauce. I'm just going to get a piece of foil and put that here. It's like little tilapia. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's perfect. This is how brown I like mine. These are not gonna be as brown because I'm not gonna let them continue to cook too much longer. But I'm gonna have, uh-oh. Sorry, y'all. I got a call coming in. Did they interrupt anything? Okay, good. What's good in fried chicken? Oh, you talking about the Greek all purpose? I'm sorry, y'all, I got a call. Sorry, y'all. All right, so now these are done. That's my son, and he watched me on YouTube, so I don't know why he calling me, because I know he see I'm on live. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna repeat this and just do this with the other chicken breast. Hi Val, watching from Miami. Thank you, Tara. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add our other three. I'm gonna strain those spaghetti noodles while these are cooking. They get dark on this side. I don't know why. And I'm just going to cover these up over here to keep them warm. And literally, we are almost done. If I was only making three, we could like make our sauce and boom, be done. All right, let me strain these. garlic. I forgot to get my minced garlic, I mean my garlic ready. Not minced garlic, but regular garlic. Alright, when I strain my spaghetti, I do not uh, rinse it off. I strain it, and then I add a little oil, and then I toss it. like so, and then I cover it. And that keeps it from getting sticky and all of that good stuff. So I'm just gonna move this to the back here. I can tell this one's getting a little dark. All right, I'm gonna turn it. Now for our sauce, we have our Marsala wine, or you can use regular Marsala wine. This is the cooking wine, cooking version. And then, or you can use a uh, chicken broth. I'm gonna use a little bit of both because this has a strong flavor, those that use it know. And I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit because that one's gonna get darker than I want it to get. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. I'm just trying to clear me some space so I can move. I'll be glad when I get a bigger kitchen. <laughs> Who is that saying they remember me? <laughs> All right, now I'm going to let these continue to cook. All right, like I said, our noodles are done. That's done. The last thing we have to do is make our sauce, our marsala sauce. And I'm so glad that I got the, the thinner ones. I don't like thick chicken breast, so even... Hi from New York. Even when I um, do get thick chicken breasts, you all, I always cut them. I always cut them, unless I'm making my uh, chicken taco. So if I'm making that, I don't cut them, but other than that, I always cut mine. I don't like them thick. <laughs> I will right, we'll give them another one or two minutes. And I'm not gonna rinse my skillet. I'm gonna use the same skillet. I wish I could move you all over so I can, let me see. I'll move this over here. and move you all over here. Mm 
so that you all can see. There we go. That way I can lift you all up some. All right, so you already know what I'm doing over here, so you don't have to see the actual chicken. I'm about to take these out. And they are done. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add, you want to add a little bit more butter or oil. And we are going to saute our mushrooms. First, I'm going to add in my fresh garlic. That's what I was doing over here. Crushing my garlic because I forgot to do so beforehand. So it's just my fresh garlic. Or if you don't like garlic, you, you know, of course, you don't have to use that. And I crushed three cloves. Oh, it smells so good. I love garlic. <laughs> I do. I love garlic. It smells so good. There we go. I meant to do this already. All right. So I'm going to stir. Where is my spatula? So I'm just going to stir this in. I'm going to add in my mushrooms. And you just want to saute your mushrooms until they are the way that you like them. I don't like mine too, um, too soft. Who is that? Oh, yeah. Of course I will. You want to see my real hair? You must don't follow me because if you follow me, you wouldn't have asked that question. <laughs> but it's okay. <clears throat> All right, so I am going to add in mine. I don't want them to saute too much. And I don't think the brand of the mushrooms matter. But I would go with fresh instead of canned. Smells delicious. All right. Now I'm going to add, I'm not going to add a lot of more solid wine. I'm probably only going to add about a fourth of a cup. And I'm also going to add in my chicken broth. And like I said, I'd rather have this because the Marsala wine is really strong, but you can just use Marsala wine. I'm going to add about a half a cup of my chicken broth. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> oh, it smells delicious. Does anyone else make marsala, chicken marsala, or you all don't like the marsala? You got to have a taste for it. It's definitely um, that marsala wine has a taste. So I know people that usually make theirs with chicken broth, but then is it really chicken marsala? I mean, it's kind of like chicken broth sala, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna add in a little cream. You haven't tried it yet? I usually get it when I go to, um, what's that restaurant, you all? Um, Olive Garden, I think it is. There's a certain place I usually get it when I go out, but I don't usually go out, so. All right, I'm gonna add in, let me bring this up to a little boil. I'm gonna let it boil a little bit, and then I'm gonna add in my cream. But I had it down kind of low. This side cooks a lot quicker than this side on my stove. I do not know why, but um, so I have to be careful when I cook on this side because it just cooks a lot higher and a lot faster or something, or on a higher heat rather. Oh, thank you, Mark. I mean, Michael, I'm sorry. I was looking at Clark and I was saying Mark, trying to say Michael and said Mark. <laughs> that makes sense. Thank you, Michael. I really appreciate that. Um, I don't know. It's it's like for me, hi, Misty. 
for me, it's all about him and his plan. It's not about me. So that's what I was explaining to some people on my uh, personal page on Facebook that when we commit our lives to Jesus Christ, once we receive the gift of, of salvation, like my life no longer becomes my, it's no longer mine. Now it belongs to God. So it's all about what he wants to do in my life. And he affords me the opportunity to do things that I love to do like this. I love to cook and I love to share my cooking. Um, I always have since I was a little girl. So, but it's all about him, you know, whatever he wants to do. I'm just along for the ride and I just really appreciate it. Him giving me the opportunity. <laughs> Thanks, Carla. Yeah, girl. Amen. We have to understand it's, it's all about him. It's not about me. <laughs> all right. So now can you all, I guess you all can't, can you see? Can y'all see? Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of start, starting to boil a little bit. So now I'm going to add my cream. I don't know how much cream I'm going to add. This is a half of a cup. Yeah, I poured a little over half of a cup because that's what I was going to use. But because it's only for my two daughters, I don't think, or my three daughters, I don't think they're going to eat. They're going to need all of this sauce. Hey, Apostle TQ. Yeah, you late. We almost done. It's, it's only been, I, we've been on here 26 minutes, but I didn't start cooking right away. I kind of gave some people time to hop on. But yeah, we are literally about done. I'm about to add the chicken back to our sauce. So I only added about, if anyone wants to know, it wasn't even a fourth of a cup of this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can go. It's real quick and easy. You, you can go back and watch it. Um, but thank you for hopping on. Okay, so now I'm going to add my chicken breast back in. And once I add the chicken back in, it's going to thicken up even more. And I'll bring you all closer so you can see. Because I know you probably can't see as well from over there. This is not the, the camera I normally use. So those that follow my cooking with Aisha page, y'all know my videos be more, you know, clearer, but I'm on a different phone today. I have three phones. <laughs> so, but two that I really use, but I'll bring you closer so that you can see. Uh. Lord bless him, Jesus. Baby, you can't get me upset, but it's okay. God, God loves you. You came here to start to start trouble, but God loves you. And I forgive you for your comments ahead of time. Okay. I'm going to bring y'all closer. Yeah, we have to love on people because love is the answer. Love is what is going to help this world. And the Bible says, a soft answer turns away wrath. So when someone mistreats you, you don't mistreat them back. When someone says something negative to you, you're not supposed to respond in a negative way. And if you try it, it actually does work. I've had people say all kinds of things. And because of the way I respond, they don't know how to respond. They're like, because it catches them off guard. People are so used to people, ah, you know, going right back at them. I don't have nothing but love for you. I don't care how you feel about me because I have a God to answer to, like for real. So at the end of the day, I'm not finna, I don't do that with people. And my kids are watching me. My kids are watching me. Like I gotta be an example. Okay. And plus the love of God just don't want you to, like you, when you have the love of God in your heart, you really just don't hate people. It's just not in you. You just don't feel that way. You feel more sorry for a person than you don't feel hate for them. You shouldn't. And if you do, that needs some kind of, you know, we have to check ourselves and check our hearts and ask, ask God to deal with us. All right, I'm gonna bring y'all closer so you all can see. That's right, amen, because God ain't for that. He ain't gonna... Uh, can I, I can't turn the camera around. Yes, I can. Let me see y'all. All right, I'm trying to bring y'all closer. That's right. So this is, I don't know, it looks kind of funny from this angle to me. So I have it on a low. Y'all see how it's on low and it's still boil, boiling kind of. But it is thickening up because we have the, I'm trying to get at an angle where it doesn't look so bright. 
or something. I guess from my camera angle, it looks kind of bright, but it's, so it's not really that bright. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, let me bring y'all back closer. The stove is kind of hot, but... And then I'll fix it up on a plate so you all can see see the results. Because it's, it's actually done. I'm just giving it a few minutes. Thank you. It's okay, sweetie. It don't even matter. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just... <laughs> it don't even matter. I love you anyway. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you for being here. All right, y'all. I'm ready to put it on a plate. <laughs> yeah, my work. Um, let me get my plate. Here's my plate. And I'm going to have one of my girls try it because if you follow me, you know I am on a carb uh, restrict. I do. I have a weight loss group on Facebook and I started it because of all the weight that I lost. And, um, I started it because of all the weight that I did lose and it all came from me just cutting back on carbs. I lost over 40 pounds and my goal weight, I've already reached it and I'm still losing weight because I haven't changed my carb intake. So, <laughs> so with that being said, um, I'm not going to try it because I've already had, what did I have today? Y'all I had something that was loaded with carbs. Oh, I made some juicy homemade burgers for lunch and I had french fries so I know that I'm not over my limit but I don't want to use my last few carbs on uh, spaghetti <laughs> so let me call one of my babies Layla Aaliyah oh those are my neighbors outside and that's it, you all. It's done. Once you actually add the chicken back in, your sauce is going to thicken up just like mine did. And that's it. Like, you can let it kind of just sit there for a minute, but it's done. Your chicken is already done. And so you're just really just letting it sit in that sauce to thicken up the bread from your chicken. So that's all I did. I'm going to get a spoon. Layla, Aaliyah. They be having their music on there like they can't hear. Teenagers, teenagers. Who has teenagers in here? Who has teenagers? <laughs> oh, y'all, we gotta pray for them. <laughs> we gotta pray for them because they be at it. Layla Aaliyah. I may have to taste it. I'm not gonna sit here and hold y'all. So let me go ahead and put some on a plate. There's somebody coming. Let me get it so you all can see. Aw, thanks, Frida. <laughs> can you, will you taste this? Okay. Do you, uh, is that enough? Mm, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot? I was just telling them we don't eat a lot. Yeah, I'm probably about that. Okay. I left out my um fresh parsley and y'all don't don't entertain that. Um I left out my fresh parsley, but I would have actually put it in the pot before I added in the chicken. I would have put it in with the sauce. So here is the finished product. Let's come back so they can get in the light. Mom. Mom. <laughs> can y'all see? I feel like I'm moving the, the food away from the camera. But there's the finished product. So my daughter's gonna taste it for you all. Are you going to um you want me to use the chopsticks or You don't have to use the chopsticks, but okay. where's the oh where's the line? Come here, pocket poo. Girl, we on live and you taking pictures. <laughs> Mama. Huh? My hair. Okay. You can just stand right there. Okay. Say hi, Lana. Say hi. This is Alana for those that don't know. Thank you. My daughter, she's trying it right now for you all. Stop. She's using chopsticks. Go figure. What do you think? You need a fork to cut your chicken. I want you to taste your chicken breast too. She don't want y'all to see her on camera. I'm gonna have to try a piece. Give me a fork. Hold on, punch. 
Sorry, I'm not here. I'll try a piece for y'all because she. Uh -huh. Are you gonna make new? Mm mm. All right, you all. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. And I didn't use too much wine. That Marsala wine is, is, like I said, it's bold. So know what you're doing when you're working with that Marsala wine. But it's good. So that, you can take the plate. <laughs> I thank you all so much for watching Alana. Now she's trying to get me. Thank you all for watching. I'll probably just start going live on Saturdays on my YouTube page. But I'll post and let you all know. So you all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed evening. Y'all don't worry about it. Pray for people. Pray for them. No. <laughs> God bless.